Hello, forensic science students. I am Mr. Williams, and today we are going to discuss spectral photometry and the spectrometer. The basic principle of spectral photometry is that each compound absorbs or transmits light at a specific wavelength. Spectral photometer is an instrument used to measure how much a substance absorbs light by measuring the intensity of light after it travels through the sample solution. So what are we saying here? Well, basically, spectral photometry uses the idea that different compounds have a different color, and so they absorb light at a different, they absorb different colors of light, and they allow other colors of light to go through them. It can be thought as a filter of light. And the spectrophotometer uses this by measuring how much light is shined through a compound and then how much light comes back through it. So an example of this, less light is absorbed by watered down coffee easily. So it doesn't absorb as much light. Much more light is absorbed by dark coffee. Therefore, light will pass through the coffee that is watered down more easily. And a spectrometer will measure two values, transmittance, how much transmits through, goes all the way through, and absorbance, how much doesn't go through, how much is absorbed. So we have two images here, diluted coffee on the left, which absorbs a lot less light. You can see through it. And then my kind of coffee on the right. Got a little misspelling there. Um, very dark and light does not travel through it well at all. So here are two important definitions that you're going to be hearing a lot. So make sure you understand these. Transmittance is the measurement of how much light passes through a solution. The absorbance is the measurement of how much light is absorbed by the atoms of a solution. And so this little rectangular prism you're seeing here, that is actually a container. Think of it like a test tube, except it is a test cube. Um, that, that helps out for math reasons later. But the light is shined in, and we know how much light is shined in because the spectrometer records how bright the light is and then the liquid inside is absorbing some of that light and then there's some light that's able to make it through the other side the light that makes it through the other side is called transmitted light so a spec spectrometer is not a complicated machine so it's down below you can see that um there's a simplified schematic. So first there's a light bulb and it produces white light to supply a range of wavelengths of light. So you want the full range because you want to be able to split it up to all the colors of the rainbow. Next, a lens focuses the beam of light onto a prism. Okay, so prism separates the light into the visible light wavelengths. And that's what we studied in the last lecture, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Picture here um, doesn't have indigo and violet, but I digress. Okay, next, the wavelength selector allows only the, excuse me, the desired wavelength, that's the color of light, to pass through a small opening. It's, it's really simple, guys. It's basically a piece of hard um, cardboard with a hole in it, and it moves up and down to um, just move to whatever color of light you want to shine through. The selected wavelength of light now passes through a solution of the sample in a container called a cuvette. This is the test tube, but it's a cube. They call it a cuvette. So white light shines through the light bulb, goes through the prism, separates. The wavelength selector moves up and down just to capture only that one color. And then um, the light that goes through is that one color, and it hits the cuvette, which is the solution. And then there's a detector that detects the amount of photons transmitted and then sends a signal to the digital display with the absorbance values. Basically, that detector is just a little solar panel and um, it records how much, you know, how much light came through by how much electricity it's, it's uh, regenerating. All right, and that is how a spectrometer works. Um, that's all we're going to talk about for um, the remainder of this week. Um, stay posted. We do have a quiz. 
um, and make sure to let me know any questions that you have and have a great day.